gaming scene? Who knows? The audio will come back. All right. Uh, maybe the audio won't be coming back. I was, I was like waiting patiently. Give me one second. Seven, eight, six, two. Come on, whenever you're ready. I didn't like mute on accident, did I? No, I didn't. This is like an e this is like such an eerie silence. Would my capture card just like break or some shit? Come on, you can do it. Damn, dead. That it's being pissy. Like it's like, oh, do you want to change the buffer size? Fuck off. I'm just gonna mute entirely. What just happened? What's going on? <laughs> this this has never like taken this long to actually come back in the audio. God, I, I feel so like vulnerable, like not hearing any audio while I'm talking. Right, come on, I, I want to play some. I want to play some pocket monsters. Jesus Christ. All right, hold on. Let me, let me do something real quick. And that didn't do diddly dick. Give me another second, I guess. Jesus. Being a stinker. I guess I'll just restart the software. Oh, there we go. Jesus, that, that came out of nowhere. All right, that's a lot better. My apologies. The, I, I don't know what happened with the software. Yeah, so I don't know if I want to go against um, uh, Cassiopeia first or the guy at the White House. I feel like last time I tried fighting the, the dude, I, it was he was about the same level as the last star grunt or whatever I just went against. So, if I can beat him and level up a little bit, then I should be okay for Cassiopeia, unless she's like a level or he's like a level seventy or some shit, which would be crazy. Yeah, we'll try the lighthouse first, and if he's like too high level, then I'll target Cassiopeia. And I've already forgotten how to use all these newfangled buttons. Okay. So, I need to go down there. I still hate how this shit just, like, turns around, like, all willy-nilly. Speaking of AI, I saw on Twitter, like, people were making AI art of, like, you know, the, the Donald getting, like, arrested. And, like, usually with AI art, you can tell, like, it's AI because some parts of the body look like smooth or some shit like it's usually the eyes or they have like an extra finger or something but this art was like so well made that it was really hard to tell without knowing like context of like oh we actually didn't get arrested like it's becoming scarily good all right x what's the guy's name arvin okay this so I don't forget. Or, yeah, Arvin. Excellent. You're ready to <laughs> ready too, Map of Stiff. Uh, wait. All right. All right. I went through all this last time. That's right. Wait. Am I even? Did I even heal my Pokemon? I feel like I did before the end of last stream, but <laughs> watch me just going with only like one healthy Pokemon. Let's find out. I don't remember who it was that I used last. I think it was Toxtricity. Oh, there's eight pinball and dry sandwich. I'm getting two of them right now. Mine's a rhubarb jam and it's so good. All right, let's let's see. Uh, that's a good sign, maybe. The Pokemon that I met during our hunt for the Herba Mystica are all stars, every one of them. 
Uh, okay, thank god we're good. Okay, he's only level 58, uh, at least for this one, so that shouldn't be too bad. I actually had two as well. Great, like, Welch's grape? That's a, that's a, that's a good... Good grape, or grape. That's a good, like, jelly option. Grape, grape jam's pretty yummy. I usually try to do, um, Jif peanut butter, and then my homemade rhubarb that my mom makes. Um, but if I can't do that, then I'll use, like, Welch's, um, Toad School. Is this a grass type? The Smuckers, oh, the pre-made ones. Wait, you mean, you know, are you talking about the ones that, like, the, uh, the circular ones? Is that what you're talking about? Or you're not talking about the ones that had, like, the, the peanut butter and jelly, like, in a jar, which, like, I've seen some people make that's, that's yucky. Is that Smuckers that makes those? I thought it was like a different brand. I think this is a grass type. I can't believe I forgot about this Pokemon. Um, I'll shift gear. Why not? That's why I had two. They're too small. I always, whenever I eat my brown jelly, I always make two. I don't know why. I guess I'm such a fat fuck. That's why. I just love my brown jelly. Like, whenever I was a kid, and like, my mom would make ham and cheese for me because I didn't like peanut butter and jelly, but then as I got older, I really started to appreciate them a whole lot more. Oh god, no, he has, he has earth power. Damn, that almost fucking one hit him. But yeah, I used to have those, uh, like, pre-made ones at my, like, friend's house a lot. And I'm a little faster than them now. Wait, does that increase my speed too? Or did I just imagine things? Like, I don't think it does. If it, could you imagine, like, that move, like, increase, like, your, like, something else too after you use it? That'd be one of the most, like, insane broken moves. Garganical. Gargan. What is, what is this? I think I'll just keep this bloke out here. Oh, it's a block type? Well, I'm gonna get my shit kicked in, aren't I? Uh. Sh Shadow Claw, why not? Just so I can. Oh, wow, that didn't do, <laughs> that didn't do anything. Did he miss? Apparently. Just keep Shadow Clawing, why not? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so Quackaball should be good, right? Yeah. Water and fighting. Yeah, that should be fun. But, um, oh yeah, back to my story. Uh, so yeah, my, my mom in the morning would make, like, ham and cheese. Um, I guess I kind of ended it by saying, and then I appreciate it as I got older. But there's, there's more of it besides that. Um, she would make the ham and cheese after she made my brother's peanut butter and jelly, because he liked peanut butter and jelly. But she always just, either she wouldn't really clean it all that well, or she just wouldn't clean it at all. And I could, I could taste like a hint of like peanut butter. I was like, why does, why do I taste that? And then I realized like years later, I was like, oh, that's why. Cause I always thought like it was some, like something worth like the cheese. I remember telling my mom, I was like, I think the, I think the American cheese that you're putting on my sandwich has like peanut butter in it or something. And she was like, no, that doesn't make any sense. And then down the road, I was like, oh, she's using the same fucking knife. Scavillion. This is another grass type. Okay, yeah, we'll just do air slash. This is going to definitely a lot better than I did like the first time I fought him. That's gonna hurt though. Yeah, that's gonna hurt a lot. Uh, managed to get a shiny Giratina and Black Two through the event servers exploit. You mean um, that one like that one dude who has like the servers like, open, so you can just link your IP or whatever to that area, and then you just act like you're in, like, a GameStop. 
I assume that's what you're talking about. Let's go jump off. Yeah, I did that in like Platinum. That's how I got like a Shiny Melodic. I can't remember the only... I think maybe a Deoxys I got. Like, authentically. I didn't really get a whole lot of, um... Event Pokemon. But I think, like, I like went into, like, a GameStop once and I saw that and I was like, Oh, that's awesome. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be greedy. And it worked. I do remember, like, picking up the cards, though. But I mean, like, the, like, the, the machines that you had to actually, like, be at GameStop to get. Like, you had to, like... Turn on... What was it, like, NFC? Or something like that? And then you'd actually be able to, like, link it. Very nice. Please still, please stay asleep. God damn it. Never depend on this shit to... Oh my god, that's gonna hurt. Oh, I'm actually fine. Oh, it's more than once. Never mind, I'm not fine. Um, I guess what I can do, since I think he'll be faster than him if he gets revived... Actually, Miss, uh, Miss Magus should be a little bit faster. I've got Shiny Dialga and Palkia, so when Scarva comes, gets home compatible, I can bring them up and I have their Shiny Origin forms. What do those even look like? I haven't really considered those having, like, Shiny forms. Psybeam. Alright, this, this guy's gonna be like the, the, the Garchomp that Cynthia has, pretty much, I bet. Oh god, look at his eyes. Alright, um... What is this, what is this typing? Oh fuck, I forgot about Terrestrialization. Yeah, that's gonna be like a, that's gonna be like a big flex. Where do you think, Christian? What is she? Is she a fire type? Ghost? I can't tell what I'm looking at. That, um... That symbol up there. Or right, please hit yourself. That'd be, that'd be sick nasty. God damn it. Okay, he's a dark type. That's gonna hurt too. Ouch. Um What would be good that I have against Dark? Really nothing. I oh, I guess fighting? Okay. Okay, best case scenario here, he hits himself twice. Which, you know, knowing my luck, that's definitely not going to happen. And I can, like, manage to get Quackable Super Super Saiyan 3. While he just keeps hitting himself. And by Super Saiyan 3, I mean just completely, uh... Completely healed. Oh my god, he hit himself. Let's go. Actually, I guess he only needed to hit himself once. But, yeah. Alright. Is this overkill? Um, no, not really. Alright, that's fine. I doubt- I doubt one clone will survive this. Oh shit, he actually did. I wonder if I can, uh... Hmm. Do I try it? Fuck it, let's do it. Oh, uh, it's not gonna happen, never mind. Oh, I can fucking like rhubarb on my hands. My controller can be like so sticky. Alright. Yeah, pretty much. I read an interesting oh hi, low battery. I read an interesting tweet that said that um if Pokemon had never existed, then the most iconic anime of all time would be Dragon Ball Z. And people were disagreeing with him. I th like I th thought 
that that wasn't that wouldn't be like an unpopular opinion. People are like, no, it'd be Naruto, and I'm like, yeah, but what did Naruto get all the inspiration based off of? See what happens. Ouch. Is this gonna be like a okay good. I was worried there's gonna be like a move that just keeps doing it over and over and over and over and over again. Alright. Alright, we did it. Great. I don't know if that speed decrease saved my ass or not, but I'll take it. Why does the eyes look like that in like the dark? It's like when you like shine a flashlight in, at your cat just looking at you, and his eyes are just like all white. Or I guess just any pet that you have. Or like you uh, like shine your flashlight outside in like a field, and then you see eyes just staring at you. It's like a fucking coyote. I don't realize how much fucking filler DBZ has. Um, I mean they're known, they're known to stretch out stuff that needs that doesn't need to be stretched out, but at least they do it in a kind of entertaining way. Yeah, you're not wrong. I don't mind, um... I mean, the Cell Saga definitely has, like, a lot of filler. Because it's like, Hey, we're gonna play my... C I don't I can't do a Cell voice, but, like, We're gonna play the Cell games in, in, like, a week. And then there's like, Oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, we're not gonna train, we're just gonna dick around. Krillin's gonna throw a fucking rock at Goku. <laughs> yeah. Dang, this is the strength of someone who could take down those Titan Pokemon, huh? Yeah, much as I hate to admit it, I do think we're gonna need some more support. Most of my area zero are super strong. And there are all sorts of weird machines there too. I'd say we need two more people, someone with champion rank level skills and someone who can deal with crazy tech. Um pneumonia. A student council girl? Yeah, she'd be perfect for the job, but I doubt she'd give us the time of day unless one of us was on her level, as in champion rank level. Oh god. Battery depleted. Oh yeah, I, didn't, I never even fucking plugged this thing in. Like, I'm at the start of the Frieza saga and it takes- Oh, that's what I did. I fucking plugged in- plugged into my phone and not my, uh, controller. It takes so many of the fucking episodes for Goku to even reach Planet Namek. Yeah, I, they, they take their time. They, they definitely take their time. The Frieza saga is my personal favorite saga. Um... I don't know, actually. I had to think about that. It's either that or sell games. Well, we've got to do what we got to do. Uh, oh, it's not plugged in all the way. Yeah. Whoever you think could be help, just try getting in good with them. We'll see if we can't get a team together. Get in touch if you make progress. I'll do the same. Wait, so do I have to beat the Elite Four to even consider pneumonia? Or, yeah. Is that what I'm getting at? Also, the girl has a fucking weird obsession with your character. I don't- I don't think- I don't think she has an issue helping you out with this- with this one thing. I think- I think this- this fucking silly man's wrong. Unless there's something else- like someone else that I have to like- Go up against. The dragon. Oh, sorry. The Cell Saga uh, was what first got me Dragon Ball Z, but for the longest time, that was all I had ever watched. I can't remember what got me into Dragon Ball Z. I think it was honestly watching abridged. Like I was like, this is this is funny. Or something. Uh, is it, like I'm sure the real show's like that, and I was like, oh, it's not, but this is actually pretty damn good. And then playing a lot of like the like the the video games also helped me out a little bit. I had like I think there were like two Dragon Ball games. Oh, sorry, hiccup. That I like had on DS that I, like I played the shit out of. And they were very very fun. All right. Um. I guess I can't do anything with that quite yet, if my suspicions are correct. So I guess I go fight Cassiopeia. I could just walk there, but I'm too lazy to do that. I 
It's like the that's the same thing that got me into uh, Yu Yu Hakusho was watching the abridged that um, uh, Lenny Pator, I believe his name is, who voices Vegeta in TF2, TF2, uh, Team Four Star, um, and like that was more. It wasn't so much like I thought it was funny. It was funny, but it was like, wow, this like anime act looks interesting. So then I watched it and I was not let down by that. Like, I watched the Soul Saga on Nick when I was like, t t Nickelodeon? Are you sure you don't mean Toonami? Over the course of a couple days, and for the longest time, that was it. Wait, but Dragon Ball Z was on Nickelodeon, was it? Was it like a Nick at Night thing? I thought it was like an exclusively like a, a Adult Swim kind of deal. Oh, wait, I know what you mean. You mean GT. I, I, I assume that's what, or Dragon Ball Kai. Sorry, so sorry. That's what you mean. Yeah, I forgot that, that I forgot that honestly existed. A lot of people do not like Kai because they thought the dub like was ruined. Sup, Clive? Yep, that's my name. Actually, no. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. It's Cynthia. <laughs> I like how shocked my character is. No way. I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of Uva Academy. Mr. Clavel. Uh, I already knew that. What? But my disguise was perfect. Although, now that I think about it, I did neglect to keep up my youthful act on a few occasions. It must have been what gave me away. Regardless, there is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along. Uh, no. Honest to goodness, when you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off using, er, you know, one of the high-tech gizmos. Oh yes, it was very clever. Friends, Chippy, now that you know that I'm Big Boss, there's one thing, there, that means there's just one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. I still don't believe him. <laughs> Shouldn't it be Penny? I don't, I don't know. It was broad daylight because I was doing homework while watching it. So it must have been Kai then that you watched. Yeah, that was on Teen Nick, I think, right? Do you remember if you watched it on Nick or Nick or Teen Nick? And how like was this in like twenty like early twenty tens or like when was this? I am Cassiopeia of Team Star. With this battle, I will finally bring Operation Starfall to an end. Oh God. Um. No clue, potato brain. Yeah, I think it was... That must have been Kai. I, I, I forgot that that was a thing on Nickelodeon. I honestly thought that was... A, forgot that was a thing, like, period. Until I just Googled it. Maybe I should have done a workup. Fuck. I keep forgetting I have that move. I'm just gonna assume that I'm not gonna be as lucky as my adversaries, so I need to use an Awaken if I have one, which, which I do. Dream Eater. Nice job, fucking idiot. Uh, I guess just do Air Slash. Add the first two. Oh wow, I didn't even. That was a critical hit, and I didn't even kill him. Uh, the first two seasons on DVD, but the entire series is on Crunchyroll now. I had the f first two seasons, I think, of Dragon Ball Z, and um, or sagas, I guess, and uh, the entirety of Dragon Ball on like Blu-ray that I got f as like a birthday present because like, my mom somehow knew that I really liked Dragon Ball, which I guess maybe she learned from my friend Cole, who I used to watch the Dragon Ball with a lot whenever I went over to his house. Um, but yeah, I sold those to uh, M M R. Whenever um, I don't know, I, I don't know what I needed the money for. Something. Snow warning. But yeah, I was at the um. I was at the... They all made me remember. I was at 
the college, and we were playing Smash Bros, and it was just me and this one guy who like shit talks a lot. Um, what do you mean? He's uh, he, he's kind of he's like one of those guys that like thinks getting like overly aggressive is like funny, that kind of deal. Um, and I like there was points where I was just three stalking him every fucking time, and like the like the most percentage you could get was like 98 on me. Oh hell yeah. But yeah, I'm just like, damn it, I want to see Goku go Super Saiyan already. Just gotta wait a little bit longer. The U Oh, yeah, that's right. That does have that downfall. Okay, but the close combat's so fucking good. The, the no, way that I play... Oh, shit. Enough. Rick with no, the raid! That's not big enough either. Thanks for the raid, Rick. That's more like it. We're delighted to have you with us. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Oh, whoops. Okay, no, I didn't mean to do that. How did your, um... How did your, uh, thingy magic go? The, uh, the, the dating game. Emily was here. Or is here. One of those two. Did she confess her love to you yet? Hate raid. Is that, is that a thing? Like, let's, let's raid this guy. Show him support, and then say when we fucking hate him. I'm doing the, uh, the Cassiopeia quote-unquote boss fight right now. I thought Cassiopeia would be fucking Penny, but I, I guess not. Oh wait, I forgot Gyarados isn't really a, like a full-fledged water type. That's right. Um, what do I do? What's good against Dragon again? We'll just do... No, Sarah Ledge will get fucked up by, like, Earthquake, if their Gyarados even has it. Toxicity might even, too. I guess Miss Magis? You got back with Brad after I hooked up with her. That's awesome. Congratulations. Uh, we'll try Confuse Ray, because fuck it, why not? Oh, yep, I forget. I can't have anything nice. Oh, yeah, he knows Crunch, too. I forgot about that. Gyarados isn't a dragon type. What is Gyarados again? I thought he knows... Can, can he learn dragon moves, though? Fuck it, I'm using Sarah Ledge. Yeah, I need to learn like, a better like poison move, I guess. Water and flying. What move did I just use against it? Oh yeah, I guess maybe because the, the, the yeah, grass isn't as effective against flying. Um, so what would like super destroy that? I guess electricity then, right? Yeah. Yeah, that would like that would like fucking obliterate it. Oh well, I guess you're going to be a fucking uh, a martyr then, Sarah Ledge. Oh yeah, I forgot he was honestly confused because he wasn't fucking hitting himself. Four times weakness to electric. I should be faster than... Actually, I don't know. I can't... I don't know what the level difference is. Is he like a little like 58, 60 or... Oh wait, doesn't... Oh yeah, it's 60. I hope I'm faster, but I guess we'll see. Oh yeah, look at that. Damn. Just... Just barely. Slower, I think. The snow stopped. Well, shit balls. Um, wait, can can he learn dragon moves though? Like, I think that's what I think. I just imagine a Gyarados using like um, what's that like that beam that like most dragon uh, Rick watched three consecutive streams this month. See, I was wondering if anybody was gonna like do that, but I, I guess maybe it doesn't pop up on mobile. Or Earth Power. But you can do it on a clone, I know you can. Oh. Never mind. 
I should have done double edge. God damn it. Alright, you know what? I guess just awaken. I'm curious what other milestones, like, they exist. That you could, like, achieve. Is there, like, one that's, like, a whole month's worth of shit? And Winkle and Simon survived. Uh, I guess revive Toxtricity. Is it like Dragon Bolt or something like that? I don't think that's what I'm thinking of, though. It's some like beam move. Okay, so we have a water and flying versus a water and fighting. Is water or is fighting good against flying? I can't remember. I'm just imagining someone like punch a bird and it's super effective. Okay, let's terrestrialize and just do close combat, see what happens. I feel like if I terrestrialized in like some of like my earlier fights, I would have maybe gotten like done like a better chance against those. <laughs> like battles. I kept I keep forgetting them. Other way around. Flying is good against fighting? Okay. But I'm just imagine like imagine like a crow just comes out and like attacks you, but then you just fucking roundhouse kick it. You're like, you're gonna destroy that bird. I somehow survived. Okay, well, another close combat should kill it, right? Okay, cool. I am fine with that. It's a shame now I'm a fucking glass cannon now, but we'll, we'll make it work. Houndoon. Well, that's a that's a good Pokemon for me to fight against. All right, just liquidate the fuck out of this. Never mind, too slow. All right, Toxtricity, it's 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 your time to shine. I wish I- I wonder if I can learn, like, give Oinklone, um, Earthquake. That'd be fucking awesome. Yeah, but only if you manage to hit it. Are you talking about, like, the, the crow that comes out, like, like, flying at you? Um... Okay, let's just do burn, Boom Burst. Never mind, too slow. Yeah, I'm just I'm just a little little two hundred leveled, I think. They just outspeed me just just a hair. I think I'm almost I mean I'm sure if I, you know, actually knew what a Gyarados was. <laughs> In terms of typing, maybe I would have done better there, but oh well. But I should level my Pokemon up just like a little bit more, I think. Oh well. It was it was a valiant effort. It was a valorant effort. Welcome back, Andrew, by the way. Are you winning? Well, you, I, I did beat that one dude at the White House. He wasn't even a close battle at all. Also, nice. I didn't know your character did that. Let's take our time walking in this fucking rain. That's how you get a cold. Alright, so then where can I find, like, the highest level Pokemon for me to just grind against? Um, oh yes, this Magikarp, that, that'd be perfect. Oh, this is where the League is, okay, I see. Wait, how do you even get there? You just have to like fucking like jump across? Or is there like an entrance somewhere? Oh well. That's not my concern. Yeah, where, where's a good place to like fight against this shit? I guess over here, this is where I grinded last time. You know, if, if the game wouldn't be so laggy. God, I, this this is bad. Even even the map lags, but I'm sure it's because like the, the rain is going on in the background. And I still hate that the map like ro like rotates on you like out of nowhere. Okay, we'll just just fly over here then. Hurry falls.
All right. Uh, I don't think this is the right place. Actually, it might be. I don't really know. <laughs> Have I gone against you yet? They're called Furry Falls. <laughs> Fury. Uh, but I wonder what's got them so angry. All right. Wise ass. Let's um. Let's get toxicity leveled up, if possible. Just like destroyed as much of water Pokemon. I didn't realize Toxicity was like that underleveled in comparison to everybody else. Quackable is just like just leading the fucking herd. Actually, I guess he's about average. What a great battle that was. Psyduck down. Yeah, just 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 do a genocide on all the Psyducks. God, like that's such a that's such a quick way to like grind XP. Do you get like the same amount of XP just like doing that than you would like a regular battle? Or they're like, oh, you're using like a like you're not taking as long as you like normally would, so you're not gonna get as much XP. Like it wouldn't surprise me if they pulled that, but then again, maybe not, because it actually makes sense for this feature to exist. If you just want to grind XP. You get le Oh, you do get less. Okay. I mean, it's you're still getting a decent chunk in such little time that... It's, it's fine, I guess. Go get him. Come on, pussy, get out there. Do I have to go in the water myself? I guess, oh, never mind. I guess we're doing like an actual fight. I guess they'll show me what level these are at least. 49, okay, yeah, this is definitely where I should be. And is it even using PP when you um fight these things? Oh wow, yeah, you get like twice as less. Um, I don't know. I don't know how many, like, battles you could, like, fit in. Like, how many normal battles, like, you, like... How many less battles you have to do just by doing this? Like, how many, how many of these battles can you fit in to, like, a regular battle? I want to say, like, four. And I don't know if I just didn't see it or not, but it doesn't look like you use PP whenever you, you actually, like, go against these things. Oh, the, the, the dude's faster. Water's so good. Alright. Like, I want to get, like, Toxic to, like, maybe, like, a level, like, 56 before we head back. I'm too scared of that Gyarados. I bet it'll still be faster. Isn't Gyarados, like, unusually fast for his size? Go kill their young wings. Oh, okay. I see. Dracloak. Oh god, more rain. As if it wasn't already laggy enough. Two boom bursts. I'm actually kind of curious how... Never mind. I was just say like how curious- like I'm curious how strong this move actually is. Why did I just do it again? In my head I went to the like electric move. In reality, I didn't. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's a fucking cool move, Phantom Force. Well, I guess shift gear then. I mean, I guess if I can whip out a Toxtricity that I know won't die and just do shift gear and make my speed like that much faster than I could possibly beat the Gyarados. Because I'll, I'll just be able to discharge it and... 
fucking eradicate it. I don't know, that, that seems to be asking for a little bit too much. Getting there. Whoops. What do you think uh, the Pokemon in the background are thinking whenever, um... Oh. Whenever they just see, a, like, a guy in a Pokemon just, like, mutilating. Probably the Pokemon that they grew up with or something in, like, their area. They just, they just stare in just disbelief. What the fuck am I looking at? I guess I could capture this thing, but it's already dead. Do I have any epic- or an epic candy? Do I have any, like- oh my god. Uh, magic candy? Or rare candy, that's what it's called, Jesus Christ. Epic candy. Who's this epic candy? Well, this one we will, we will capture. Hopefully. I, well, I bet this won't even work. Okay, I, I, I reverse jinxed it. Uh, I don't think stat changes revert after withdrawing Pokemon, so you could lead the fight with Toxtricity and you shift gears once and then swap it out. What was their first Pokemon again? It was a... Um... What was that Pokemon? Was it a grass type? See, I should really pay attention. I should really, like, remember this kind of shit, but I just can't. I just can't. Okay, these are definitely dragon types. I'm, I'm, I'm at least, like, 80% positive about that. But I'm too scared of them, so I'm not going to do it. I just want to, like, just kill a bunch of, like, water types. That shit should be easy. Yeah, what was the first Pokemon that he threw out? I can't remember. I remember a rock-type Pokemon, but wasn't that the, the one that the one dude had and not him? Here we go. Let me see if I have any rare candies. I don't think so. I think I think I already used them all. I have an EXP candy. Uh yeah, why not? Oh, so what's the point? Oh, I had two. Okay, I didn't realize that. I was gonna say, what's the point of making me have that little weird dial thing if I only have one of them? But if I said that, I would have been talking out my ass. I kind of forget that you can also give your Pokemon uh, medals, or like, not medals, like uh, items that actually, you know, fucking help them. X attack. Yeah, let's try to, let's try to level this up one more time and then we'll head back and do a rematch. You, you, you can beat that. Just fucking look at it. Good job, buddy. Just fucking look at it. Yeah. It looks like anal beads. So, yeah. You should be able to handle that pretty well. Oh god, okay. Oh, what the fuck? This is this little guy? This little guy wants to fight, fight against me, eh? Okay, can I do boom burst now? Yes, I can. 
Oh yeah, of course it wouldn't be very effective. Well, I, I, if I can't beat that, then I don't think we're going to be able to beat the Gyarados. I'm sure Sarah Ledge can handle this thing. Also, I just got a... I thought this was you, Andrew, that messaged me, by the way. It's it's Austin. He messaged me and said, what's your favorite off-season move so far? I thought this was, like, one of those bits that you do whenever uh, you do, like, a question and then, like, two, two lines later you say, like, a joke answer. Also, did I miss? I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, no. I won't. I wouldn't do that until one a.m. In case you're curious what the answer was, it's, it's actually the, the the Nate Davis signing. Also, I'm not even fucking touching this dude. Because it mostly shores, shores up our interior, which, you know, I, I do like offensive line, believe it or not. And he, he replied with the, the turtle emoji. <laughs> you, you gotta love Austin. Damn, everything we knew about math was wrong. Don't fucking touch me, please. Okay, where's the where's the center at? Isn't it like yeah, it's up there. I do appreciate you can go literally wherever the fuck you want. What if the, what if like in Tears of the Kingdom if they bring back the high rule? Uh, I don't know what the specific name of it is. Um. Like the 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 motorcycle, like you just they just give it the same functionalities as fucking this Pokemon. Like if you approach like a wall, it just grows like claws and shit, and then it just climbs up whenever the fuck you want. And you can basically travel like the entire map in like a good like five minutes or something. He's, ask, he's asking, uh, what do I want at number 9? And I was like, Paris Johnson or Tyree Wilson if he falls to us. Master Cycle, okay. I just always called it the, the Zelda the Zelda motorcycle. I always called it the Zelda motorcycle. I always did. Go get him. You can do it. All right, almost there. Go, go get him, champ. You can do it. Oh God, don't touch me. You should get a wide receiver. Oh my God. If we if we draft a wide receiver, I, I would I would shit a house. I'll just say that. Like, this might be crazy to say, but if we draft a wide receiver, Fields might throw for 3,000 yards. That'd be crazy. Alright. We'll, we'll do a, uh, we'll do a second, a, a rematch. With what we got. Uh, subsequently following... Asserted lobbying efforts by healthcare advocates, Congress passed legislation banning smoking on U.S. domestic flights of less than two hours, which became effective in 98. The law was made permanent and extended to flights less than six hours in 19... I don't think I've ever seen anybody smoke a cigarette on a flight before, and I guess I, guess I know why. Because I always see these, like, whenever you go to, like, the, uh, the bathrooms, they, um... Uh... They always have, like, the ashtrays, and I'm like, who the fuck is smoking a cigarette on an airplane right now? I guess nobody. 
Like, the longest flight I maybe have ever been on was probably, I guess, to Cabo San Lucas from Colorado. And I don't even remember how long that was, because I was a kid. Alright. I'm gonna have to do this dialogue again, aren't I? Alright. I'm just gonna battle on Broad. <laughs> He's like, maybe he'll fall for my disguise again. Alright. What if I say, uh, Director Clavel? Oh, come on, the name's Clive, remember? Actually, no, it's fine. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Alright, yeah, 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 got it. He was like, no, it's not me. Alright, yeah, it's actually me. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, come on, come on, come on. They, they sure really let you skip this shit. Like, is there like a button I'm just missing? I'm smoking that cig in the air, brother. I'm smoking that cig in the air, brother. Oh yeah, and Austin said he also wants Paris Johnson. Okay, yeah, this should- I should be fine? I might be able to pull off two. That'd be so fast. Like, he doesn't have any earth moves, does he? Or ground moves, sorry. Okay, that's- that's fine. Just to shift gear again. Okay, now I should definitely be faster than the Gyarados. If I'm not, I'll I'll shit a house. All right. Um. How about we do? I guess Awakening now, because he's probably going to do Dream Eater, which would be a wasted move. I guess he'll do Dream Eater regardless. Yeah, I was right. Okay. What if I just keep doing Shift Gear? How, how high can like my shit go? Let's find out. Yeah, I knew he was gonna do yawn. Yeah, you can take you can fucking take advantage of this Pokemon like so hard. Oh, let's do shift gear again. God damn. This dude's a fucking monster now. Speed won't go any higher. Than my attack will. Dude's a fucking monster, gets one hit. Well, we can't have that. Um, I guess I shouldn't have been greedy. I guess Miss Magis? Wow, that didn't- that didn't do anything. Like, you always see, like, super effective. That's gonna, like, definitely, like, one-hit him and then just doesn't do anything. God damn, he, he really did that to me. I thought for sure I could, uh, <laughs> like, just keep doing that, and then nope. Yeah, I need, I need, uh, Toxicity back if I'm gonna even sound like Santa a chance. Battle played, and I fell asleep. I just found the weirdest thing. Ouch. 
Uh, the Smoke-Free Illinois Act went into effect, banning smoking in all enclosed workplaces, including bars, restaurants, and casinos, all and within 15 feet of such places. Uh, exempts certain retail tobacco stores, private and semi-private rooms, and nursing houses occupied and exclusively by smokers. Enclosed and semi-enclosed temporary structures attached or adjacent to bars and restaurants. No more than 20% of designated smoking rooms and hotels on the main floor. And what did you find? What? <laughs> Is that real? Okay, I'm going to be greedy and try to do shift gear like at least one more time and then I'm, I'm dipping. Because I don't know if I don't I don't think that carries over. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. Okay, just don't do foul play. Okay, that's that's fine. Okay, now I'll switch, go to Sarah Ledge. And we'll be good. Where'd you even find that? Like what like when when was that even passed? Also, how the fuck did you know I was switching Pokemon? Ouch. Um, man, I wish I had like full restore. Can I like, is that something I can buy? I do believe so. He's probably gonna do Dream Eater. Okay, he's either he's either gonna do Dream Eater or Foul Play. I'm gonna I'm gonna bank on him doing Dream Eater. I okay, I have five Awakening left, which will pretty much make his move useless, but we'll see. Yeah, okay, I was right. Okay, Bitter Blade. All right, that was definitely worth it. All right, all right. Okay, Gyarados. I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping my toxicity, since being leveled up and with the speed boost, is faster. Oh, his attack fell. Ah, oh, man. Well, that didn't work. Gyarados is too fucking strong. Uh, um... God, what did I do? What did I do to beat him last time? Oink clone, I guess. Sure. Gamer moments, actually true. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm, I'm very good at Pokemon. All right, I need I need toxicity back. <laughs> I'm gonna die this turn anyway. Actually, I guess if I whatever, who cares? Okay, well, toxicity is useless to bring out. Um, I guess jump pluff? Why not? No, I don't want to trust the lies. Um, 
Maybe I should have, like, terrestrialized my fucking, uh, uh, toxicity. I don't know if your, like, speed goes up whenever you do that, though. I, I still don't fully understand, like, what, ha what terrestrializing... I, I know it, like, makes moves, certain moves, like, the typing. Or what have you. But I, I don't fully understand the, um... What it honestly does. Nice, I got too greedy. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna be greedy again. Fuck you. Okay, it actually worked. Alright, can he stay asleep for more than one turn? Let's find out. And we'll do Giga Drain. Why not? In Kentucky, every citizen of is required to take a shower once a year. Every citizen of. Also, what if you use this move without even... This move inflicts damage using the attack or special deck stat, whichever is higher. Wait, so what... So it just changes typing. That's the only thing that Press Lighting really does for this move. And if, it, if it's just a normal move, you don't trust it. Got it. Also, this looks like an alarm clock. I think it's supposed to be like a bear head or something. Um, Bounce, sure. Just so I don't get destroyed here. I, I He's actually still asleep. God damn it. Please still be asleep. I don't, I don't ask for a lot. <laughs> Ouch, Jesus Christ. All right, um, I know my Quackable can definitely outspeed it, so we should be able to do this at least. At least I, I hope it, it can outspeed it. I guess I guess we'll find out. Okay, we're good. Oh, thank God! All right, the clutch flinch. New Jersey, it is illegal to delay or detain a homing pigeon. That's too bad. Okay, Sarah Ledge. You're up. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. All right. Um Bitter Blade, I think I think that worked wonders for me last time I used it against this thing. Oh yeah, that that definitely worked wonders. For Ohio law, it is against the law to kill a house fly within 160 feet of a church without a license. I heard it's also a law in Ohio to uh, not win a Super Bowl. Oh, wait, he didn't do this one last time, did he? Yeah, this is different. He, used, he did Hound Doom last time. Alright, well, Shadow Claw. Let's do it. All right, here's how I'm doing. Okay, uh, Quackable's still good. We'll terrestrialize him because fuck it. And we'll see where this goes. Oh, man. All right, terrestrialize, liquidation. You say don't? Don't terrestrialize? Well. 
Are you saying there's a Pokemon that he like? Does he have like a Grass type that's like so much better? Meow Scarta. Okay, keep current Pokemon. I think that uh, Cassiopeia would be backed in the corner like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I see why you didn't want me to terrestrialize. I still have Air Slice. Oh wait, oh, fuck! I should have done close combat. He's probably gonna do a grass move that's gonna fuck me up, but oh well. Finished my stream schedule. You did, eh? I'll check it in a second. Please, please tell me I'm faster than him. Oh fuck, I'm not. All right. Oh, and a critical hit. Nice. I guess it doesn't even matter what move I chose. Is Sarah Ledge still alive? Okay, yeah, he is. All right, buddy. I'm going to need you to outspeed the fuck out of this thing. Will he? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, my God. I, I lived. Nice! Oh, and a critical. I think I maybe may have just won that because of the critical hit. I mean, if I get a crit last turn, I deserve a crit this turn. All right, excellent, excellent, most excellent. There was once a law in Salem, Virginia, that made it illegal to leave home without knowing where you were going. What does that even like? Because they didn't want people to just, um, what's the word, uh, uh, loiter or something? Well now, Master Tippy, it seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia. Yeah, you, I fucking knew that. Though Clive and I, myself, being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassiopeia's identity remains hidden, but I believe I can hazard a guess as who they might be. That is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrow should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenge you to battle to test your skill. If you had lost, I would have fallen to me to result bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve. Well, uh, yeah, 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 could have, uh... You could have done that, because I just lost last time, buddy. Clavel gets the starter. Oh, that's super effective against the one you picked. I guess it didn't matter. <laughs> I did it anyway. I was fucked regardless. In that turn, anyway. Oh, well. I mean, we, we still beat it. Uh, but it turns out that you're strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at surviving, that saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task. Uh, but please defeat Cassiopeia. Take on the big boss F Team Star and win. Oh yes, sir. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I leave this in your hands. You there. What do you think you're doing? I do not recognize that distinct haircut. Ah, Miss Time. A pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Clavel. I come here to investigate reports of an in <laughs> illicit battle on school grounds. And what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself facing off against one of our students, no less. I don't think it's a good idea to yell at your superior. What were you thinking? Ah, uh, no, if I could just explain, you see, it is a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me, your excuses have wreaked worse than a stunkies behind. A stunkies b, -b behind Ahem. <laughs> Remember that the big boss asked me, us, to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. I'm counting on you, Master Tippy. You write a letter of apology to students and faculty at once. Uh, and I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board, make no mistake. Good gracious, no. Anything but that, I implore you. No bread for you, Andrew. Sorry, buddy. Alright. Now, I'm gonna I'm going to assume that Cassiopeia, which I assume is Penny, uh, is gonna be stronger than the director. Uh, but I don't know what I'm going against, so I'd rather chance a possible win and observe more details than Waste time not knowing what I'm like actually up against. 
No assuming, yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go in. Fucking guns a blazing. Is there no station here? Or did I just did I just pass it? There's gotta be a station here, there's no way there's not. Isn't it to the... Isn't there, like, an exit? Isn't this where, like, you went, like, met me online, Christian? It was, like, over here? Maybe it was more up there. I don't really know. There's gotta be a center around here somewhere. I don't know if those things on the map are centers that you could fly to, or they're just landing locations. I guess it's worth, worth it to find out. But then again, I guess, why would they why would they be Pokeballs when that one's just a regular flying indicator? Find out. Oh, it is the center. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, cool. There you go. Hint her team may be related to one of the uh, two Pokemon featured on the cover of the Let's Go games. Well, that doesn't really... I assume it's not an Eevee, because why would they choose a normal... Why would they choose an Eevee? Over uh, anything worth it, the worth a damn. Like if it was like a Vaporeon, I would understand it, but an Eevee. So I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's it's a it's a Pikachu, but I might be wrong. My intuition uh, may not be the best right now. All right. But they said after dark. Do I actually? Oh, it said related, not is. Well, how do you? Oh, all right. I see what you're saying then. It, yeah, it's an Eevee then. They they probably the Vaporeon. Zaporeon. <laughs> Vaporeon. That that's our names, right? Good morning, Mr. Chippy. What classes would you like to take? Uh, none of them. So do I actually have to wait until after dark to? Cassiopeia? Like a goddamn Majora's Mask side quest. Or maybe it's just two Pikachus, two Raichus, and two Pichus. That's a possibility. Sorry, I had a push notification tweet. Uh, so do I actually have to wait until night to fight her? Is there like a way to like speed this up? Can you like play the song a double time? If I knew how, to, if I remember how that went, I would play it on my ocarina right now. Is there like a fireplace that I can like make in the middle and just say rest until nighttime? Redeemed dude. Now let me guess. Play the Breaking Bad theme. <laughs> you should really think about this before you, you, you do dudes. I mean, if you want me to play the Breaking Bad theme for the umpteenth time, I'll do it, but... Oh, I know what I can play. I know what I can play. Hold on. I, I was thinking about I was thinking about this today. This this game that I haven't heard from in a while. I should probably let that game keep running in the background. <clears throat> All right, let's see. That doesn't have a theme song, what are you talking about? Does anyone know what that song was? 
The Los Pollos Hermanos. That doesn't have a theme song. Was it? It just is it just like Spanish music that plays in the background of the restaurant? But do I actually have to wait until fucking nightfall? In the dark of the night. Yeah, I, I guess I, I guess I do. That was the uh, that was the Angry Birds theme. Yes, it was. Good job, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew, that's Christian. My bad. That was Angry Birds. Yeah, you know, I guess I can check out these areas that I've never even really paid attention to. Welcome to Seabreeze Cafe. Egg power. TNC power dark. What happened to that franchise? Well, th I saw like a Pyrocynical video about it today, but I think he stole the idea from another YouTuber. I can't believe that. Hey, get me out of this outfit. I, w I want like a cool outfit. Horn rimmed glasses. They have like brown. They have black, I guess, which I already have. Yeah, I'm already wearing glasses. What am I? What am I talking about? Uh, pom pom hat. They have green. Yes, they do. Uh, sure. Oh, yes. Where can I get some sick, nasty, like, shirts? Did I get them here? Here? Let's see. No, that's okay. That's just this boring nonsense. Um, I guess just keep looking for like stuff that has like fashion outlet stuff. There's shoes, which I don't need. Socks. It's just a sock store. Glasses. Hats. Is there no distinct shirt place or is it over here? There's gifts or something. Any popcorners today? Uh, I have white cheddar behind me, but I don't, I'm not really in the mood to eat it because I just ate. White cheddar is my go-to, but I do like the sea salt, which I think I said yesterday. Yeah, where the fuck's the uh, the shirt place? Like, you have a guy advertising like a full-piece outfit, and the only thing you offer in there are hats, gloves, and glasses. Like, right? I, I didn't just imagine that, right? Welcome to Rough and Tough. Oh, by the way, we only sell these things. Let's not set ourselves apart from the other competitors. Why is it different than normal cheese? I don't fucking know. It's white. I think it's just a different cheese from normal cheddar. You'd have to Google it. Okay, where the fuck's the clothing store? Like, that actually has, like, full-on clothes. Christian, help me, help me! Coom cheddar? Uh, no. I, do I just check at the gift store or something? I mean, that's what we'll do. Okay, if I can remember the button to actually get off this fucking, fucking thing. Not that. It's plus, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, you actually can go in here. Okay. Yeah, where the fuck is... Like, where, where are the shirts? Sorry, I didn't get dripped out in this game. You seem like such an idiot right now. What are you talking about? Did I, did I pass, like, a clothing store or something? Like, I'm looking f distinctly for a sign that has, like, a shirt on it or something. But all I see are this fi the same five buildings with gifts in them. 
There's backpacks. I don't think you did. Well, here's a that that's a salon or a barber, I guess depending on what your preference is. Just check every building. Do you see how many buildings there are? And it's weird to put a building that you can't go inside of next to a building that you can go inside of also. That's that that bad game design. Everyone everyone was right about this game. But but for all the wrong reasons. Can I wear a sandwich? I'm surprised you didn't go for the whole like full on gold thing, by the way. You have to wait. That, that that's why I like I'm trying to like spend my time properly here. I want to intimidate Cassiopeia. Which I still assume is Penny, but I, I might be wrong. It might it might just be unnamed NPC number three. It was me the whole time. God damn it. Alright, I'm just gonna Google it. Let's see. Let's see. Shirt. Shirt. Store. Pokemon. Violet. Can't get dripped out. Yeah, I, I kind of, I kind of noticed that, or like I thought about that. I was like, you seem kind of limited about what you can actually wear. Oh god, it's fucking telling me like it's, it's, it's in this place, but not like specific enough. Where to buy all clothes customization? Oh my god. What, what kind of store honestly sells just gloves and socks and glasses? Yeah, all I'm seeing in this video are just gloves. I want full on like shirts and like pants. This one's just socks, this one's just shoes. Okay, I, it doesn't look like they, they, there's any like outfits that get like sold anywhere, it looks like. Google feels dank, man. The gloves, socks, and glasses store. You can only buy clothes after the- that's so stupid. You wanna buy this like, this like tie-dye shirt? Oh, uh, let me see your champion badge. But but I I'm I'm my my family's cold my 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 son my son is like dying of pneumonia like this is the only thing that can keep him warm I'm sorry you need to be the champion I said what if oh I see are they saying Google dank feels dank man what if like I don't know how those messages are related also goddamn this day night cycle goes forever oh my god. I could be gaming. Oh my god, you can go on top of the buildings. Gotham needs a protector. You should train Pokemon while you wait? That, that, that makes too much sense. What the fuck? The anti-suicide app? Is that, is that what that was? Oh, so that'd be like a like a great invention. Like I should uh, so much like uh, what's that like uh, what's a pitch this like on on Shark Tank? Hi sharks, my name is Hugh Grant. I don't know why I chose that name. And I I developed this app. Kevin, I want you to go on top of this building after you install this app on your phone and and watch what happens. The force of the app is like too powerful after he jumps and his arms just come off. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's exactly what I was thinking. It's like grabbing like a like a uh, monkey bar if you like jump like a like a tall height. Like it's gonna get ripped off. Well, anyone know any good jokes? God damn, this is such a boring wait. 
Okay, maybe I will go fucking grind Pokemon. I just wanted to, I just want to look cool. That's too much to ask for. All right. Back to Furry Falls. Oh man, hour and 33 and whoops, sorry, I just kicked the mic. Yeah, Furry Falls. That's what it says, ain't it? Okay, who do I need to like upgrade like badly? One clone, definitely. I guess I could do jump off and just do the same thing I did with um, Toxicity. Sure, let's 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 do that. Let's do that. Let's make jump off just insane. Great job, Jump Bluff. Does Jump Bluff beat a Scyther? Apparently. Oh, I didn't mean to. Okay, I, okay, Jump Bluff, you're done. You're done. You're done. Go, go. Stop, stop, stop. Get your ass back in the bag. Oh, he's gonna get killed. Oh, never mind. Scyther be such a good lawnmower. Uh, yeah, I agree. Okay, Sarah Ledge. I'm just imagining Scyther just like spinning on your lawn. Like, remember that like episode like Fairly Odd Parents? I'm asking someone who's above the age of like 14, by the way, maybe even 16. Uh, like, I don't remember what the context of the episode was, but like for some reason, like, uh, Timmy Turner's house just became so like overgrown. Uh, like, it came so overgrown. And I'm just imagining Scyther just spinning and just cutting all that shit down. Like, his parents became, like, so lazy, but I don't remember why they became so lazy. And I think it was, like, a... I assume it was a wish that Timmy did, but I don't remember what the wish was. I think it was, like, I wish my parents were fucking paralyzed or something. I don't know. But, Timmy, what what enjoyment do you get out of that? Uh, none, actually. I just thought it'd be funny. I want to make my dad happy. I wish, I wish, I wish Dinkleberg, like, house burnt down for a Father's Day present. How do you delete your own message? Ah, uh, yeah, that's, that's definitely what just happened. Christian did, it, Christian did that himself. There weren't any outside forces. I had those fairies, I would have wished for no school. But then you wouldn't know the, 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 the chemical formula for... I can't think of like a extreme, like copper or something, I don't know. Did I, did I end up, oh that's, I thought that was Vaporeon. Then I wish for all human knowledge. Well then, what's the... I mean, I would, uh... I would, you know, stay in school. But still wish for human knowledge, because you'd be able to set yourself apart from everybody else. And just get, like, one of the biggest paying jobs that you know every single solution to. Or I guess maybe you could start your own business. You could just drop out. Like, Zuck. Actually, this is a good question for everybody. If you could start... Any business that you know you'll end up being successful in, no matter what, and that you're satisfied to do with like the rest of your life, what would it be? Like, it doesn't have to be like, we sell, we sell sandpaper. Like, it could be like a fucking fast food restaurant if you wanted. Content creation? Of content creation like business or like that, that kind of like profession? I want to build forest houses. Forest houses, eh? How was that? I thought it was like a meteor. I assume it's that, or 
whatever. Like YouTube and the Twitch content. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Or houses with a forest theme. That just sounds like... Actually, that reminds me. I, I, um... I did a... A thing for, like, touring houses. Whenever COVID was happening. Because they used to do... Like, it's like... A business that my aunt works at. Or that she had, like, damn near heads. And, uh... They were doing, like, tours. Virtual tours. And there was this one house that intentionally let, like... One of the... Walls get overgrown with, like, vines. Or maybe they were fake vines. I don't really know. No, no, they're definitely real vines. Um, but they let, like, one of their walls get, like, overgrown, and it looks so fucking cool. And it was, like, the back patio, or something like that. Alright, well, it's nighttime. I don't know if it's full-blown nighttime like they want, but it's nighttime, so we'll go wait now. I want to see that house. Um... If I have any pictures, I'll send it. I don't know if I have the video anymore, though, because I up, like, whenever I was done with it, I up, because I, I edited it. I paid $50 for four houses, which was a scam. Um, oh, sorry, $50 plus a Five Guys gift card, so maybe it wasn't a scam. Um, but, I thought it was turned, I thought it turned day for a second. Uh, yeah, they privated. They either privated or they like completely just deleted the videos from YouTube, so I can't even like watch them on my own anymore. All right, all right, then. I guess we're waiting just a little bit longer. This is a very um, boring quest. Like, I wonder if there's a. I well, there's a way you can speed this up, but I can't think of anything. Also, is this marker just gonna, like, change, or is this someone just gonna spawn outside? Let's just sit down on a bench command. Close enough. It, it, it kind of... You gotta go in the school? Okay. I guess I'll just wait then. Alt F4. I, lo I remember, like, I, I used to watch, like, streamers falling for that, and I thought it was, like, the funniest shit in, like, middle school. Alright. So, if I'm waiting inside, do I... Do they just come out, or... I assume, I assume like, a cutscene plays or something. What is this? Mysterious green book. No. Uh, white cheddar cheese is simply cheddar cheese that has not been dyed orange with a neutral vegetable dye. Natural, sorry. Uh, there is no difference in taste or texture between white cheddar and orange. Really? Weird. So we were lied to. Got it. Gotta go interact with that computer guy by front desk. This person? Oh, with that computer by the front desk. They said computer guy, they just misspelled uh, something, I don't know. So, where do I go then? Just the, uh, the schoolyard? Okay. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, real, real shocker, this one. Alright, this must be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Cassiopeia. They were both me all along. 
when I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school time, school that time, the idea of Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. Uh, after the Operation Starfall, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit, uh, and I had, had you battle the bosses on my behalf, all for the good of defeating goal for defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But there's still a part of me that wants Team Star to live on, and I just can't roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? Yeah, why not? Thanks. <laughs> why are you wearing that shit again? Sorry to keep you. The letter apology. Miss Time had me. Er. Uh, I mean, pre preparations took longer than expected. That voice. Are you Clive? Penny, so it was you after all. Ah, uh, no, I mean, is that you, Cassiopeia? Uh, in the flesh. I have a task for you, Clive, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video team start. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay, will do. Is Penny male or female? I think Penny's a girl, right? Allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss team star. The name's Cassiopeia. No, Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming knight might of Team Star's founder. I don't know. Someone could someone confirm Penny for me. Damn, the song. Alright, an Umbreon. Damn, what is the song? It sounds like something you like hear in like the background of like a montage on like a regular show. Alright, let's wrap up with this. Hey, Team Star Leader, then why did they get bullied in the beginning? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not paying attention to the lore. I just want to beat the game. Uh, bounce. Oh, all right. I didn't do jack shit. Because no one knows she's the leader. Oh, okay. There you go. Even stronger here. I guess. I guess still bounce. Time to use my totally not pirated version of Adobe Premiere to edit my my new YouTube video short. Be right back. Do, just keep doing bounce again. Just be a simple kind of man. One like use Pikachu. I mean, I don't. I don't want to switch Pokemon. Fuck, I'll switch Pokemon. This taking forever. Uh, is Dar... Uh... Walkable. Why not? Raichu? I guess, technically, yeah. Uh, we'll do... We'll do close combat. Nice. Alright, uh, Jolteon. We'll go to Oinklone. I think it, it's ground's better. Yeah, ground's good against electric. Which one's stronger? Earth power. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, 
God damn. But yeah, that didn't really do a whole lot. I'll do it again, though. I'm sure one of these will crit. Oh yeah, I forgot Thunder's like really like inconsistent. Isn't like an 85 like accuracy? Maybe even like 65. Oh my god, Oink Loan. The GOAT. Okay, you you like earned yourself like a permanent spot on my team. As if you didn't already have that already. Belch. I still love that, like, emote. Uh, ooh, poison type. Mark up, double edge. What should I get rid of? Dig? The user must... No, I, I, I'm not gonna... No. <laughs> I never, like, hold any, like, berries. What does human meat taste like? You're actually not wrong when you say that. All right, liquidation. It's nice to know like Pokemon that I can like fully understand. Like, wh like who they are because <laughs> they're, they're they're pretty fucking obvious. Uh, sure, I guess let's do it again. All right, not bad, not bad. Psycho cut. Who's this? Oh, um, you, this has a heightened chance of landing a critical hit. Do I need Flamethrower then? I guess not. I think I can relearn Flamethrower if I really need it again. Sure. Alright, Leafeon. Switch. Sarah Ledge. Yeah, your, your lackeys are really going to enjoy this uh, replay of this battle, aren't they? Wow, that didn't do almost as much as I thought it did. Or thought it would, rather. Oh yeah, I guess poison is good against grass. Wow, this this move isn't one-hitting. It's it's not really as, as good as I thought it might be. I should have kept flamethrower. Never had human flesh before. Think of the taste and texture of beef, except a little sweeter in taste and a little softer in texture. Contrary to other belief, people do not taste like pork or chicken. It just reminds me of an episode of Last of Us. I will not go into detail. All right, Vaporeon. Jump Luff, welcome back, buddy. Yeah, I was like thinking, I was like, is each of their evolutions gonna go off of um, the trainers that I already beat? But I don't, we didn't, there wasn't like a water, um, what's it called? Um, uh, Team Star Grunt, was there? I can't remember, I, I know there was like Fire, Fairy, Dark. I can't remember what like all the typings were. Also, Giga Drain. I guess I, I guess I have to do Toxicity then.
All right, Texas should do this. What are the nutrients on human flesh? I, I, I would... That, that's an interesting topic of discussion, I guess. Fairy, flying, dark, poison, and fighting. Oh yeah, there was a fighting one, that's right. So yeah, I guess I guess they can't... Maybe they were like, oh, maybe we could do this. And they were like, oh fuck, we're, there's a fighting. That, uh... I'll just, I'll just keep... I'll just keep them out of here. That we can't really do. There's no fighting evolution. You know, what, wouldn't it be like amazing to have like, an evolution that has like boxing gloves? Or some shit? It just stands up, right? Let's do discharge again. Time to tress fly, shine bright like the starry sky, and become who you really want to be. Yeah, I said this like probably like ten times by now, but fairy is like the one typing that I still fully can't get a grasp on. Also, oh yeah, true. God, like, why why haven't they added more evolutions? Like, I'm just imagining in my head, like, how cool would these, like, different typings be? I want to shift gear. Yeah, let's do it. With their strongest move, Shadow Ball, I should be fine. My VV power will crush you into Stardust. A dra oh, yeah, that would be... Yeah. Oh, that might hurt a little bit more. Poison jab? Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. I guess when in doubt, poison it out. That's 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 a saying for typings, but I don't really know. All right, great battle. That was, that was definitely a close one. You really lived up to your full potential there. All right, it's finally over, guys. It's done. When in doubt, arson. Um, I don't know about that one. Oh god, another fucking flashback. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up. Are you saying we should break up the team? I gotta be joking. Uh, we got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of show of learning them some manners. But we didn't even fight in the end. We didn't even we didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, merely did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyrannous oppression. Twas a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out the Pokemon, they just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. Uh, but the bullies made a huge stink about what went down, and then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. <laughs> There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right, this little stunt might have uh, put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end, just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star, I dragged you all into this, so I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble king and kind boss, you cannot. Oh, and kind. Um, now that the boys are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say is you- All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were also kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Uh... Prithee? Prithee? Is that, how do you spell that? Prithy. Speak to us. What is thine intent? Is that like a nickname or is that like an actual word? Pry thee, speak to us. I think that's how you pronounce that. Hey, big boss, answer us. Is it pr prithy or pry thee? It's pry thee, right? It's gotta be. Why am I like questioning words in a Pokemon game? Oh, it is Prithy. Okay, I thought it was Prithy. <laughs> prithy. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Yo, there's someone fucking talking behind this 
fucking window. That sounds just like Cassiopeia. Thanks for everything, Tippy, and you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star and me too. Hold that thought, Miss uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? I resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star. Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, then they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. Uh, so it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did, that's why I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the bosses would do anything the code required of them, even leave the team. Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. Thus, the idea of Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star know? What do your friends in the team mean to you? They're... They're my life! They're my greatest treasure. Oh, that's so sweet. So I like how that emote doesn't even pop up in the, <laughs> the stream chat box, but I can see it just fine. Splendid, thank you for uh, apprising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, you're under fucking arrest. There's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. D Director Clavel, just as Cassiopeia has was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But but why? Uh, I need a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. I saw that, by the way. Timed out 333. Students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers, after all, much more so when they're faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. Him. Well, that's quite enough for that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Surprise! Happy birthday! Wait, you're streaming again today, Rick? I, why did I get like a notification of that just now? 8 p.m. Valorant. 6 p.m. or later, Emily is away. Nothing but a YouTube upload. Valorant, 6 p.m. Viewer choice. If nothing's played, then Minecraft. Oh, I'm not even fucking looking at the cutscene. <laughs> I, th I thought it was like something I had to like actually hit A on. Her name's Penny. How have you been this whole time? Maybe, you know, this this would be a good time for voice acting. Because I wouldn't would be able to hear it. On to it last. We know how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gang, on the count of three. Oh my god. Alright, now then, Miss Penny, and each of you, young bosses as well. Damn. On behalf of the Academy, I, you know what's surprising? Like, none of you guys do a lot of, like, heisting. It's always gamble and slots. The heisting's... Pretty damn good, too. And plus, it's more fun because there's more words. You have my sincerest apologies. Come again? As director of the academy, I let you down. My handling of situation was a dismal failure. What? I still don't... I mean, why? You all told me about your reasonings for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director, as I've ever... All I've ever experienced at the academy is an environment blessedly free uh, from bullying. Uh, but now I know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger and, of course, your immense courage in putting things to right. And so I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who do not... The, the Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist should that be your wish. Well, good for him. Woohoo, Penny, isn't this great? Now we all can stay together. Oh, mine heartedly is giddy with glee. Also, I, I should have... I, I completely forgot Penny wears a fucking Eevee backpack. So, I guess if I remember that, that maybe would have, you know, given that away. I've heist amount... What the hell? Wait, does... Does Streamlabs not recognize greater than and less than signs in the, the chat box source? 
Because look at look at the end of that Streamlabs message. It says like heist ampersand LT semicolon ampersand GT semicolon. That's weird. Someone typed like a greater than sign. I'm curious. Uh, oh, mine heart is giddy with glee. But I betrayed all of you. Uh, you mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us all about it. As far as we heard, you only went through through with it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we'd ever chuck the team just because uh, someone told us to, after all, in our style. So I guess it, it, I guess it just, I don't know, it just broke. I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. Well, maybe that's why you, you don't do heist a whole lot. Uh, sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But even so. Even flow. Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for a team start to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Let me to provide a few examples. Your prior, uh, your protracted truancy, your brazen customization of the school uniforms, the unauthorized usage of the academy equipment, your reckless modification and jeopardous driving of Pokemon-powered vehicles. You know, go on. Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. Damn. I fucking bitch slap every single one of them. You want a duel, eh? Damn. Thus as punishment, you will be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes, specifically, I'll be asking you to manage the STCs. Join all. Huh? A little late for- what, what is- what even is that command? And that stands for the Star Training Centers. Facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan for the Academy to found the- in collaboration with the Pokemon League. Uh, the idea of came to me when I saw Master Tippy battling his way through your bases. The bases construction as well as the battle tactics employed by students and Team Star are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask you can to continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members using your former bases as training facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Heist? Or, <laughs> I could read that. No more letting Andrew time me out for obscene amounts of time. Yeah, I, I, I agree. It's not obscene enough. Um, no, it sounds like fun. All right. Uh, um, no, it sounds like fun, so I don't see how this would be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird, weird thing to say since the STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. It's true. We would most happily have you at our sides, my lady. Uh, we can go to school together too. That way, also, I guess I answered you guys' question. That way, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We were already talking about how great it would be to have both team star and school in our lives this would be a good sweet deal for us so what do you say you guys tippy what do you think uh give it your best huh but, but um i just no need to give you a response right this moment miss penny do take some time to decide for now at least i think our little group should go their separate ways uh not to say you should break up team star after all i simply mean it's time to leave i simply mean it's past Fucking curfew. Mr. Tippy, please stop by my office later if you would. If you would. Oh god, I forgot I forgot this room even existed. Where do you want to go? The director's office. I'm the fairest mod. Oh, so true. Those, those those seconds that you were timed out are purely calculated. Ah, uh, here you are, Master Tippy. I wanted to say thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. It's if not for you, I suspect I would have done this team a grievous grievous injustice. Grievous General Kenobi. Injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. Uh you have my sincerest gratitude. I thought someone was actually hitting on my headphones. Second there. Who was it? Um, it's Penny. Ah, oh, Miss Penny, do come in. Hello, director. Dude, that's weird with the, the blue hair. Uh, about the STCs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because Operation Starfall? 
No, not that, because the other the other's the other really bad thing I did. And what would that be? Fucked your wife. Let me know the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall. I got hold of it sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon's leak LP management system. Uh, I see, that's quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. Uh, if it wasn't, you should have laundered it. Dumbass. Watch Breaking Bad or Ozark once in your life. Wasn't all that hard, er, I mean, I'm really sorry and I won't do it again. Hmm, this matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I will have to consult Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman on, on best how to proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Master Tippy. Uh, I will have to ask you to give us some privacy. You go, go see Saul Goodman, and he'll make you buy a, uh, a, uh, what's it called? A uh, fucking nail salon, and with your LP, and you'll be good. So am I done? Yes, so. Maybe they'll, like, call me or something, like, when I, like, leave the building. We're gonna need to give you all that, all that LP that you got from her, uh, we, we need that back. If you already spent it, then, um... We're gonna break your fucking kneecaps. That LP came from high-ranking officials. Proficials. Officials. Tippy? Any? There's something I want to talk to you about. Could you meet me in front of the school stairs, you know, where we first met? I'll be waiting. I'll join the heist. Fuck it. Heist all. Alright. But after we're done with this, I'll probably call for the night because, you know, we've made decent progress. I guess we'll start the victory, or, uh, becoming, the process of becoming champion. I just fucking jump right over, uh, I guess next week. <laughs> let me, let me go back up these stairs for a dramatic entrance. Hasta la vista. Uh, the six of us thought that the catchphrases back then, thought up that catchphrase back then when we created the team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know. Anyways, I think I think Link fucking threw up in the chat whenever he saw that, so that about makes sense. Maybe about the LP thing, I thought I was going down big time fracking the league point system, but they're letting me off easy. Uh, what happened? Pokemon League said they'd waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them. After I graduate, if you can believe that. Director Clavel and that Gita lady kept complimenting me. Like, a weird amount. League points, I think. Uh, apparently I have an outstanding talent or something. Where it's like lettuce... Lettuce... Pato. Uh, sorry for calling you out here to meet like this. I'm still not... I'm still not so great with people face-to-face. -face. Uh, assuming you don't bungle it too much. <laughs> you should... That's a good way to put it. You should finish the main story next time. Uh, I never seem to find the right words, but, um... Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, save Team Star and my friends along with it. I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all you've done, so here. <laughs> More LP that I stole. Oh, Draco Meteor, goddamn. Goddamn! I'm sure you'll put this to good use. Damn, we died. One more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. Yo, no way. It's, I, we could use her. The next time, I'll be the one helping you to be. If I be seeing you then, also the V-Star. I wonder if there's anyone in the world that like runs like that. If you ever see... <laughs> if people... like That sounds like a YouTube video. Like, if people ran like they did in Pokemon... Just waving their arms back and forth. Alright, cool. Now saving. Nice. Alright, cool. Made some good progress. We beat the the Clive and Cassiopeia a penny and uh, that one dude at the lighthouse on our first try since getting my ass beat last time. Not too bad. But yeah, I have to, um, I have to Think about who the Elite Four... I, I, fuck. I remember one's like the little girl, and I can't remember who the other ones are. Um, I don't remember her typing, though. I don't know if they really... I don't know if they shun off the rest of the Elite Four or not. I assume they would, because that'd be weird only showing off, like, two in the main story. It's like, hi, my name's John. I'm a... I'm an ice... I'm an ice Elite Four person. 
Uh, we never met. Okay, let's fight now. I'd like the, the other, the other Leaf Four members that you've already met. I don't know. I, I, I've, it's been, we've been playing this for like so long that I've, I've forgotten. But, yeah. Fun. I, I can't wait to actually beat this game, uh, you know, like four or so months after it came out. Not too bad. It's pretty, it's, 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 it's pretty good pace, I think. You should Smash Bros with Andrew. You've met 4 4 already. I just, i I'm sure when I see him, I'll, um, I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember now. Um, it's just been a bit. You should Smash Bros with Andrew. Ah, not worth my time. He also doesn't have Smash Bros. What are you talking about? He doesn't even have a Switch. But yeah, so, so as if I remember correctly, we don't have a stream. Yeah, there's no stream next until next week. Uh, it'll be the 27th, which will be Prime. Uh, and then 28th will be Violet, and then planning on the 31st for March to, to be something. I don't know what it is, though. Um, I guess maybe Pokemon, if I'm, you know, dicking around, I don't actually finish it in time. You know, I'd like to, I'd like to get a lot of these, um, uh, franchises. I like a lot of these game, like, playthroughs, like, done. So I can, um, not have to worry about playing anything else, and just only... Tears of the Kingdom whenever I get back from uh, my, like, not being able to stream it, I guess, whenever it actually does come out. So I can just only focus on that. Because that'd be awesome. I appreciate that. It was like that yesterday, I swear. Oh, yeah, it was. Uh, 31st should be TF2. Uh, maybe. I mean, uh, if it's... Okay, here's... here's It'll be, like... It'll most likely be Prime, because I, there's no way I'm going to be able to finish Prime and next stream <laughs> there's no way um what it'll probably be honestly is a mix of earthbound if i take a guess oh yeah remember earthbound um and then prime up until tears of the kingdom comes out maybe maybe something else i can like squeeze in there i don't really know maybe like one stream of tf2 um i don't know i don't know but yeah I'll, I'll get it figured out Oh, well, that answers my question. The The Streamlabs can't do follow. <laughs> can't do, uh... Remember Slime Rancher? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so yeah, I guess I can't use follower emotes. I'll have to change that. But, yeah. I'll, I'll get shit figured out. Maybe I'll do, like, a good job. I still, have to, I still have to finish that, too. You know, that's 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 one of the best... Best plot games I've ever seen. Surely it's better than any slime-related game that I've ever played. But yeah, so, uh, VODs, I'll get them done, I, I promise, by this week, and, yeah, that'll be it, and I guess I'll see you guys next week for more Prime, and hopefully I'll be able to get shit figured out as to where to go. Yeah, so, I'm out for the night, you guys have a good rest of, one, rest of your night, uh, go watch Rick, I guess in 17 minutes if you're up for it, and yeah, have a good night. Send me the popcorners. There's only like maybe like three total chips left in there. But okay. Right, have a good night, guys. I'm out. Take care. And see you next week.